I encourage you to keep good records because if we learn from historic data, that means we need to create historic data, right? Keep your original estimate and why you thought this was the estimate. And none of this is for you know finger pointing or blame or anything like that. This is all about learning. So what is your original estimate? Why? What really happened when the work was completed? What was the actual? What was the difference between the estimate and the actual? We call that a variance. And why? Was it um, the work was more complex or you had a delay with the vendor or a team member wasn't allocated fully to the project when you needed them to be? So you wanna keep these records and any other notes, comments that make sense. And then next time you pull that out and you use it and your estimates will become better. I encourage this, of course, for when you're managing projects, but if you're a team member, it's like if you're watching this right now because you're on your way to becoming a project manager, but you're not a project manager yet, which is awesome, then as a team member, keep track of your work and the estimates you submit. And then you will become better at estimating. And that will also help you in your career path to being a project manager.